humor. Oh, it seems as though we are live once again. I'm just warning Dave, who doesn't have any form of communication, and I'm busy communicating on Skype. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, everyone. It seems as though Juma disappeared. Both Ali and Taylor vanished off your screens. It seems to have been an attack of the gremlins. And I'm just going to try and figure out a more user-friendly way of using this monitor. Dave, can I just unhook that? Is that possible? There we go. There we go. Brilliant. Now, we didn't have to drive anywhere to catch up with our elephants because they've come to us. And, of course, being in the Mara means that we can sit with animals when they're much, much further away. I wonder. I still want to go in that direction, though, because I want to go and see whether there's any hyenas. Hello, little one. No sign of the baby elephant that we saw being born. But I have no doubt, oh, he's so cute, I have no doubt we'll see it again in the not too distant future. In the meantime, we've got this little one to keep us entertained. Ele baby elephants often suck their trunks like little children suck their thumbs. It's a comfort thing. No, don't bite your trunk. Don't bite your trunk, you silly thing. What are you doing? Yes. Ooh, back to the safety of mum. Uh, oh, what's happening here? Getting bullied by the older calf. Stevie, you want to know if elephant ears are the most sensitive part of their body? I guess they probably are very sensitive because the skin is so thin, but I'm not sure that they have that many nerve receptors around the skin itself. I would say the most sensitive part of an elephant's body would probably be around the eye, and around the mouth, and especially the, the tip of the trunk. Now, the, the tip of the trunk is, well, the whole elephant's body, actually, but the tip of the trunk in particular, oh, there's an olive baboon at the back, it has bristly long hairs that basically act like whiskers, and it helps the elephant to be sensitive enough to be able to pick up the tiniest, tiniest branch or twig off the road, and yet at the same time, the trunk is strong enough to yank down the mass of branches that it might want to feed on. So my, I would say that the most sensitive part of an elephant is its trunk, would be my guess. I think that's where you're going to find the highest concentration of nerves, and around its face, its eyes, its mouth, those sorts of areas. And of course, an extension of that is the amazing thing that is a trunk. Well, you have to learn to use yours if you're a baby elephant, and that's one of our favorite thing on these live safaris, and I think all of our regular viewers will agree, that watching a baby elephant learn to use its trunk, whether you're in Juma or here in Kenya, is thoroughly entertaining. It's like a little, I don't know, I mean, it's just so much shorter as well than the adults. Oh, Megs, just to let you know, you are breaking up quite badly. Let me just see if it's maybe my phone. It did get a little bit wet earlier. Maggie Megs, can you hear me? Ah, there we go. Ashlyn, do you want to know what their predators are? An, an elephant can be taken down by a lion. It is possible. Not one lion, obviously. Um, it's only the fact that lions hunt as social creatures that they would be able to tackle something as large as an elephant. It's unusual. It apparently does happen here. There's certain prides in Botswana that have specialized in that sense. And they generally don't go for the young babies, although you might think that it would be the most obvious thing in the world to do you go for something small and vulnerable, the whole herd is likely to come rushing out to protect a baby. And they generally tend to hunt the young males that are just on the outskirts of the herd, just at the point where they're about to leave. And the herd pays them less attention than they might the little ones. I also think it's possible that hyenas could hunt. I was thinking about hunt an elephant. I was thinking about it when our baby elephant was born. And I was actually a little bit concerned. I was imagining because the whole herd left that female alone. And for our viewers that perhaps have missed that update, Brent, Dave and myself actually watched a baby elephant take its first steps. We just, just missed its, its birth. But we were at the point where when we first saw it, saw it, it was still covered a little bit in the amniotic sac. And I was worried. I was imagining hyenas because... A big clan of hyenas up here can reach over a hundred animals. 
and it would just take a few of them to distract mum and the rest of them to catch the baby. I don't know how often that's been recorded, but it would be interesting to know. I have wonderful news. It's an animal that I haven't seen yet in Kenya, but Ali has found one.